So it seemed like maybe Sandia Peak Ski Area just wouldn't open this year, but that all changed when the snowstorm came this week. Stephanie Clay Tour went out for opening day at the Sandia Peak today. Steph, how was the turnout? Well, Danielle, the general manager says around 300 people came out to the peak today. Now that's about a fifth of the average attendance. After more than a month of waiting, the Sandia Peak ski area finally opened. Late is better than never. Skiers and snowboarders can enjoy an 18 inch base of snow and glide down 95% of the Sandia Peak trails. You know, I was excited because. Now you don't got to drive all the way. You know, you just want a quick afternoon of skiing or a full day. You have to drive all the way up to Santa Fe or Taos. General Manager Benny Abruzzo says Mother Nature forced them to open later than usual. All those storms that came in early in the year were all in the couple inches here and there, and we never could get enough um, accumulated to give a nice surface for the skiers and boarders to ski and ride on. This isn't just great for area skiers. Now more than 60 people have a job this winter. Our lift operators, ski school, rental shop people, food services uh, are all happy that they are now back at work for the winter. But Abruzzo says the past five years have been tough on the business. For the ski area itself, if we can get open and operate for the next month and a half or so, we could at least reach a point where maybe we're breaking even for the season. It's really hard to open this late and have any kind of um, um, profit. The ski area was able to open in December and stay open until March in 2012 and 2013. But last ski season, it had to close early on February 8th due to a lack of snow. Abruzzo says they're looking at offering more activities in the summer, such as zip lining and frisbee golf, in order to keep the area open. Now, if you want to head over there and snowboard, the Sandia Peak Ski Area is open Thursday through Sunday and on the holidays, and the owner hopes it will be able to stay open through March. Back to you.